snow in San Diego? Today we visit the gold mining town of Julian, about an hour away from San Diego, next on Vacation. Hey, what's up, JK Shooters? Welcome back to another video. Today we are here in the gold mining town of Julian. It is known for its famous apple picking, apple pies, apple cider, and all the old gold mines here. They have the Old Eagle Mining Company just down the street here where you can take tours and go inside. It's just a beautiful old school area that is not too far from San Diego. From my house, without the traffic, you can probably get here in about 55 minutes. But with traffic, it was about an hour 15. We're in Main Street and checking out all the pie companies and all the different stores that they have in the area. Today, we have special guest, Madi. Madi's in the house. This is the California Wolf Center. I just heard people howling over here. <laughs> this looks like a Italian restaurant called Romano's and a lot of people are outdoor dining. And there is a little bit of snow, guys. We are now approaching Main Street. So since we're here on the weekday, there's plenty of street parking, so we're fine. But there is a lot right next to where we parked and it's $3 per hour. If you can find street parking, it's free. Right behind me is Mom's. We're gonna pick up some pie there a little later, but it's one of the two famous apple pie spots here and Julian Pie. We're crossing the highway and we're gonna check out Julian Pie Company next. We're here on the 78. So we're approaching Julian Pie Company and this is where they get the famous apple pie. We're gonna fall in line, pick one up and then we're gonna try one at Mom's too. So it did snow in here a couple of days ago. So we still have a little bit of snow down on the ground. Julian is probably the closest place you can go in San Diego that's high enough that will get snow. At least we get to see a little bit of snow underground. But now let's check out the pie. So this is the inside of Mom's. Obviously they're closed right now, but the outside is open for dining. We got some old pictures here, of them making their pies. All right, guys, we're gonna try out the apple pie with the vanilla. Mm, the Dutch caramel is so good. Gotta have vanilla ice cream with pie. It's my favorite. This is a winner. Stop it also. Did you like it? Very tasty, yeah. Oh yeah. We got the bag. Are you guys finding value so far in this video? I'd really appreciate it if you'd leave me a like. And if you're just discovering me on Jaycation today, please subscribe and consider it and hit that notification bell. Next place we're checking out here is Julian Beer Company. Looks like they got pizza and barbecue. Looks pretty cracking outside. If you're looking for some lunch, Julian Beer Company has some pretty good barbecue I hear. And then right next door is a brewery and they actually have some nice beer here. But since we're in apple country, we're gonna try some apple cider, maybe some hard apple cider. Maybe I'll order some to go and take it home and try it there. I also see a antique boutique over here. Tons to check out in this little main area of Main Street, Julian. See, right now it's 61 degrees here in Julian. So nice and warm. Some snow on the ground still. For those of y'all that don't know, this is what a newspaper looks like nowadays. Your iPad is not just a newspaper. They actually make newspapers still. And there it is. There's the Julian hard cider. I might have to pick one up just to try it out at home. So if you think that there's not much to do around Julian, take a look at this sign. You got Apple Alley Bakery, Nickel Beer Company, which I heard is a really good beer spot. There's the Julian Book House, Kathy's Dress Shop. Obviously they have uh, restrooms here behind Julian Town Hall, which is right behind me. The Julian Cafe and even the cemetery. Tons of things to do on a day trip here from San Diego. So if you're into the mountainous areas and wanna see a gold mining town here in Southern California, Julian is the place to go. I like this shirt right here, beer. Breakfast of Champions. Seems like my kind of shirt right there. And this is the old Julian Garage. This looks like another place for apple pies. Apple Alley Bakery. There's a lot of apple pie up in here, isn't there? Too much. 
check out these pies. Every time I hear about pie, I think of two things. I think of Eric Cartman. Hey Ma, give me some pie. And The Rock, because The Rock loves that poontang pie. <laughs> So this is the Wilcox building. They have the old goat, Sprague Realty, and Fate's Embroidery, and Julian's Toy Chest. Old school newspaper, dollar per copy, the Julian News. And right here is the Julian Hotel, a historic B&B. Cool, this reminds me of a house up in Golden Hill. Doesn't this B&B kind of remind you of Miss Mary Bobo's in, uh, what is it, Murfreesboro, Tennessee? Oh, no, Shelbyville, right? Somewhere in Tennessee, around that area, right? Or Belt Buckle. Yeah, Belt Buckle. Remember the Belt Buckle Cafe? Yep. Yeah, when I was a kid, my mom used to go to Tennessee for work trips, and we used to go around Murfreesboro, Nashville, and Shelbyville, and they were really nice. The, Southern hospitality over there was really awesome. It's funny, we're walking Main Street and we're like, oh, this is gonna go for a little further, but no, it's about to end. There's an old petroleum gas station here and then your Main Street ends. Lake Cuyamaca is a great place for camping here in San Diego. I've done it once in my life. I slept in the tent in the pouring rain and I thought it was horrible. When it's not raining and I didn't have that experience, I'm sure it would be better. Lake Cuyamaca is over here, Cleveland National Forest and all that. You're really near all the places where snow hits San Diego County. Check out these cool blue chairs right in front of the beanery, regulars wanted. Now you guys know that old school gas station in DCA, Disney's California Adventure? Well, here's a real life version of it, Ramco Petroleum. Actually really expensive here. So there's the house on the hill. And then if you turn to the right, you hit Lake Cuyamaca eventually. A majority of this video is going to be filmed here on Main Street, but Julian actually is a lot bigger than this. And uh, that's where all the apple orchards are. You can go to other hard cider places. It's one of those spots where Main Street will probably be where you go eat and roam around. But then if you want to pick up other things, you could stop by these spots in between Julian and Santa Isabel. Another thing that I love about this area is you don't find any chains. So you won't see a Chipotle or a McDonald's here. You have to go all the way down to Ramona, I believe, for that. And this right here is Kathy's Dress Shop. And this right here is the Julian Cider Mill. Check out this wagon right here. I'm not sure if they have the Julian Hard Cider, but if they do, I'm gonna get it. They have a free sampler, so I got the Apple Cider Original Sampler. Ooh, that's tasty. It's not hard cider, it's just normal apple cider. And this right here is Jack's Grocery. Cool, I just picked this up at Jack's. I got the Harvest Apple hard cider. We're gonna try out the Julian hard cider. This is Harvest Apple store. Julian hard cider, I'm gonna pour it in here. I don't know if I could finish this whole thing, so I'm just gonna put a little bit. Ooh, it's pretty clear to tell you the truth. I thought it would be a lot darker, like an apple juice dark, but no. So I'm gonna try it out. Let's go, cheers. Hmm, it's like an apple champagne, but it's not as bubbly. I don't know what to think about this. It's all right. I feel like I should be drinking this in like a champagne glass or something. It's only 6.99%. Now, you won't find the Julian Hard Cider um, tasting room in the Main Street of Julian. It's actually the same road you take on the way back to San Diego. So if you want to stop by that tasting room, you can. But I believe that place where I got the Bison Burger Miner's Diner, I believe that they have this there and they serve it all over and they sell it all over the Main Street over there. So if you want to try it, you can. And Marty was quick here, he already got the original. There's nobody in life. So there's the bakery. I feel like Mom's is a little harder to find in San Diego because I, I know Julian you can find in like the Seaside Market in Cardiff. You can find it at Vaughn's. We're gonna try the Mom's apple pie. Now this isn't caramel Dutch, this is uh, just the normal apple pie. Got French vanilla from Vaughn's. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's so good. You know what? You don't need to choose. Honestly, you can't go wrong with Mom's. You can't go wrong with Julie and Pie Company. I'm not gonna side with either. Mm -hmm. Check out 
check this out. They have Julian stickers and some shot glasses, or they call them toothpick holders. I actually might pick up this magnet. It's pretty cool. An apple for Julian. They have a bunch of greeting cards. And then if you go into the back here, it looks like another store. Look at this beautiful artificial tree. Wow. Well, we're in a barn. Literally, I didn't even know I walked into a barn. Just like everyone else in the pandemic, we've been taking it day by day. But this is great. I'm gonna look for something for my Patreon members. I think I might pick up some postcards and send them over. Now, if you want a postcard, a handwritten postcard, check out my Patreon. All right, so I'm just gonna pick up a few of these postcards right here. I got myself a shot glass, a magnet, and then I picked up a few postcards that I'm gonna send over to my patrons. Stay tuned, patrons. A little mini version like an Encinitas of a rock garden. It's only like five rocks here. And this right here is Julian Town Hall. So this is the old Chamber of Commerce and Visitor Center. If you're looking for information about Julian, they have it all in there. All right, JK Shinners, we're here at Eagle Mining Company, and this is where you can go to check out all the old gold mines and stuff here. Prices are 10 bucks for an adult, $5 for a child, and under five, it's a dollar. And this is where you go, there's a museum here. And they're only open 10 to four. One hidden gem that I wanna try eventually, maybe we'll come back here, is High Peak Mine. And I think you can access High Peak Mine from here. Maybe I'll insert a picture now. We're gonna go back to Julian and resume the rest of this video. Right now, they are only accepting reservations and they're doing it the old school way. You can't go online. You have to call them ahead of time. So if you're planning on coming to Julian, make sure that you call to reserve your spot to go on a gold mining tour and check out all the cool gems over that way. Miner's Diner. One last thing before we leave, we're here at Miner's Diner. My dad said we need to try out the bison burger. So we're gonna pick up the bison burger and then try it over at home. Check out all this cool gumball machines, old school medicine. They have a train in here going around the entire place. This must have been an old pharmacy here. Dad's root beer on the shelf, candy mine. They got toys for the kids. And then down here is the candy shop. That is awesome. Pick up your candy inside the candy mine. Look how awesome that is. <laughs> Look at this. Little subtle hole. Way to use it. They also have an old school fountain here with the shake mixers. And they have a little pickle jar here. Who is watching this video and is a pickle person? Comment down below. This is Fody Mina. Right here. All right, guys. So we picked up the bison burger. We're going to try it out at home. This is Madi's suggestion. Better be good, Madi. Well, they said it, it is, so let's try it. We got the bison burger here. I got a ton of fries. Madi was like, dude, we need to try the bison burger. So we were actually on the way back to back home and we turned around. We weren't too far out of uh, Julian. We were about a couple minutes away. But check this bison burger out. It's like they have onion rings. They have potato wedges in here. They have some sort of chipotle sauce and some white cheddar cheese. Looks good. We'll see how this bison burger is. I also got some of that Texas Pete's. You already know I'm gonna put some of that Texas Pete's on here. Let's see what this bison burger is all about. All right, it's got a little chipotle taste to it. Bread's not bad. Got the onion taste to it. Not as juicy. It's probably because we had to drive home and it's been like an hour. Still a decent burger. I mean, the bison doesn't taste any different than like a normal burger in my opinion, but it's still a really tasty burger. I like it. Mm -hmm. The bun is actually really good. Oh, I thought this was ketchup. It's actually barbecue sauce. Ah, I get it now. So you gotta put some of the barbecue sauce in that. So let's try it out. I'm glad I noticed that before it was too late. Mmm, tastes like a gourmet Western bacon cheeseburger from Carl's Jr. That makes it way better, no doubt. So we're here in Santa Isabel, which is just outside of Julian. We're picking up some famous bread here in San Diego. It's called Dudley's Bread. Now it's an empty parking lot, but it's 
the end of the day. So hopefully we can pick up some Dudley's bread. On the way to Santa Isabel, you'll actually find bison roaming around, cows, and then a bunch of wineries. Technically, you don't have to go up to Temecula. You could stay within San Diego County and try out the wineries here between Santa Isabel and Ramona. Check out all the bread that they have here. And they have different types of bread, 550 each. But their popular stuff here is their sourdough. This is the famous date raisin bread. And check this out, they have garlic sourdough. They have julian apple nuts, Irish potato, western honey wheat. And there's your normal sourdough bread. It's called San Diego sourdough bread. And this is the jalapeno cheddar. They also sell a bunch of decorations for the house. And we got five loaves of bread. All right, guys, so we ended up getting five loaves of bread because we were originally gonna get three and give some to some of the family back home. It was buy four, get one free. So all we needed to do is get one more loaf. So we ended up getting five. Some sourdough, some raisin bread, and a few other things, so all good. I'd really appreciate it if you'd leave me a like. It really helped distribute it throughout YouTube. And if you're just discovering my channel today, I'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get updates when I do post my latest videos in and around San Diego. And I also do live streams around town once a week. All right, JK Shinners, in the words of Ron Burgundy, stay traveling, San Diego. Mm -hmm.